Today's video is going to be all about building a super awesome hiding spot for the guinea pigs with a hay rack included. The hay rack looks like the one we have in our cage and it's part of the hidey. This is an awesome pigmas present for your guinea pigs and perhaps a fun family activity. But first, get ready for the jingle. For this, you're going to need the following things from the hardware store. Wood. The roof is 50 times 60 centimeters. The walls were made from a piece of wood which was around 20 centimeters times 1.8 meters. A wooden stick of about 1 meter in length and the diameter of the stick was around 1 centimeter. And screws. And you also need a saw and a drill. We started off by cutting the 20 centimeters by 1.8 meters piece of wood into 7 pieces. There are two bigger walls which were 20 centimeters times 40 centimeters, two smaller walls which we cut an entrance into which were 20 centimeters times 20 centimeters and two walls for the hay rack which were roughly 20 times 20 centimeters as well. And then one last piece, which was the base for the hay rack, which was also roughly 20 times 20 centimeters. This sounds really complicated, but if you just write that down, it's going to be really easy to do that as well. With the dimensions for the hay rack, you really need to measure them again once the big walls are in place, because this is only a rough estimate. We started off by cutting our wood into the right pieces and by cutting two entrances in two of the pieces. Okay, so this is what we already have. These are the two big walls. These are the ones with the entrance in it. And now we want another corner right here. And we already have that one smaller piece um, which was left over. So the only piece that we still need to cut is this one that goes right here. And if you plan on making this house as well, I would highly suggest to really measure this out. Um, because even if you rely on all of the measurements that we gave you, I still measure that one out just to be on the safe side that everything fits. Next up, we have to sand everything because obviously we want everything to be really safe for the guinea pigs and we want smooth edges so that no one gets hurt. We also rounded the edges of the roof piece of wood so that it looks a little bit nicer and also that it doesn't have any random corners that could hurt a guinea pig. We also rounded the edges of the two hay rack pieces. Then it's time to add the screws and make sure to get some that are made for wood and assemble the hiding spot. Don't assemble the hay rack just yet as it still needs some work. For the hay rack, you need to decide how much space you want in between the wooden sticks. You don't want your guinea pigs to get their head stuck in it, so you either have to make them super far apart so that they can always pull their head out again, which will result in them pulling out all of the hay, or to place them so close together that they cannot stick their head in between them. The general advice is 2.5 centimeters or 1 inch or max 1.5 inches. You also have to take into account that the sticks are quite thick. We ended up drilling holes that were 3.5 cm apart and now the sticks are 2.5 cm apart. We pre-drilled the holes as to not splitter the wood and to make the actual drilling easier. We 
We then used a bigger drill to make larger holes of around one centimeter for the sticks. Do not drill through the wood, only halfway through it. This way the sticks stay in place but they do not fall through it. We drilled through one of the holes of the roof of the hay rack so that we would be able to pull out one stick for refilling the hay rack, as this just really makes it easier. And that's it! Let's see what the guinea pigs think of their new toy! Okay, so this is the finished product. This is the house. There are the two entrances and there's the hay rack right here. And there's also a nice roof so that they can eat some hay while resting and also another guinea pig can rest right here. And if you want to refill the hay rack and to have it really easy, you just pull this thing up and then you can take it out entirely and then you can refill it very easily and the guinea pigs are getting very very excited in their cage so i think i'll let them have a sneak peek at their christmas present for this video and then this thing goes back into storage for pigmas you're allowed to check it out piggies How cool is that? Max is inside the Heidi. He's the first guinea pig to go inside. Max, what do you think? That one awesome playground for you? Lulu only has eyes for the hay. This is of course not a hay rag that you can put in the cage for five guinea pigs for the entire day because it doesn't hold enough hay. But I think as a second hay rag or just a little nice extra thing next to next to a Heidi, it's really nice size-wise. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time!